Today we're going to take a little change of pace. I've had a part go bad on my test, 2018 Tesla Model 3 and I wasn't able to find a YouTube video about how to replace this particular part so I thought well I'll make one. So today we're going to replace the window switches, the driver side window switch group on a Tesla Model 3 and we're going to use for a spudger, we're going to use a little Lego separation tool. And we're also going to use a Torx screwdriver. But other than that, we shouldn't need a lot of tools. So let's get started. So first of all, to show you guys kind of what's wrong here with this panel, um, if you look at this switch you can see that it moves up and down really easily. This is the one that controls the passenger side front window. Whereas the one over here you probably can't see it very well but when I move it up and down it doesn't move quite as far and it has more resistance. I can feel that this one still has a spring in the action and this one has just come loose. So it can roll the window down on the passenger side but it can't roll it back up. So we're going to replace this whole panel. There are a lot of videos about how to take the door panel off on a Tesla Model 3. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about that, but I will just say that if you disconnect this whole panel, the window rolls all the way up, meaning you can't close the window without breaking the glass or at least doing damage to something. So we're going to be really careful about that. We're not going to break the glass, but there's three torque screws here that I'm going to take out. Two of them are behind little plastic access panels, one of which is this red light thing over here. So we're just going to take those out and start to get access behind the door. Now one last thing I need to do before I take this door panel off, uh, maybe two last things, I need to pop this speaker up which again you pop it up to disconnect it for, to kind of get it out of the way of the travel of the door panel and I'm also going to set something soft down on the ground so that I can just sort of fold this panel down and let it rest on the ground without having to disconnect all the wires and everything behind it because I shouldn't actually have to disconnect much to get at this switch so let's do the speaker. Okay, now that I have all three screws out, um, I need to kind of curl my fingers under here and pull this thing toward me. And we'll give, it take, more force than I feel like I should give it, but that's how it pops out. Just like that. Feels really wrong to be doing this to my car. And then you just kind of lift up and that's how the panel comes out. I'm just going to rest that there like that. Underneath here you can kind of start to see where all this stuff hooks in. Comparing my new part here and looking at the end of it there with what's on the inside of the door here, I can see that this is where the um, window switches plug in and that if I look kind of past this green nub here or this, this emergency door release cable, this guy, inside there I can see is the bottom of the switch that I need to pull out. So I can look at my piece here 
I can see that it's got these little ears these kind of things that'll latch those will be holding it in so what I need to do is get a screwdriver or something else to do some light prying inside this hole here to unlatch those ears so that I can pop it out the other side and then I should be able to pop the new piece in. So it turns out underneath the door handle where this middle screw was there's a plastic panel here that can come out to get out of your way to pop this to pop the switch assembly out which is right here so I'm going to move those ears back and pop it down and that should be a lot easier than coming in just coming in from the back because it was starting to look like I was going to have to melt plastic rivets which I wasn't looking forward to Okay, so now if I lift up on this emergency latch, the old piece can just drop out like that. So I'm going to lift this panel off again and thread the old plug the other way through the door so I can pull it out the other side. the old one. The new one should just kind of lift up in. I'll need to thread its cable back the other way. Let me see if I can get you a better view of this. Okay, so now the new piece I've threaded the cable in up underneath. I'll lift this latch out of the way. And from here, it can just lift up in. Alright, so we're looking at the back side of the door again. So now, I basically just need to come in and Thread this cable through all of the holders that the old cable was held in with. That guy there. So the new one is plugged in. So at this point we just do everything again in reverse order. So we're going to replace this plastic piece here.
Alright, so that's success. Passenger side window now rolls up and down with the driver's side control and the doors back together. So that, it turns out, is how you do that.